Who is Batman's equal in strength and combat ability? Most of the time you probably think Deathstroke, Bane, KG Beast, Ra's al Ghul, or maybe Prometheus. You'd be sorta of right, but I just found out about this new villain in town who's actually hellbent on destroying Batman and has learned every single fighting style known to man just like Batman. He's a villain that has the same drive and passion as the Batman, but has little to no compassion. His name is Ghostmaker, appearing in Tom King's run of Batman issue 100, and his backstory is quite the interesting one. His origin is almost exactly the same as one of the students that Bruce works with in the animated series too, which I find interesting. On Bruce's quest to learn every fighting style known to man, it leads him to several different teachers over the years, learning everything he needs to know to be a crime fighter. And along this path, it led Bruce to meet a young man that had the same amount of drive Bruce did. They quickly became friends, but once Bruce told Ghostmaker why he was seeking to rid Gotham of crime, Ghostmaker tried to kill Bruce, deeming him too weak. Over the years following, the two would engage in deadly combat every time their paths crossed to prove who was the better student and whose skills outmatched the other. Eventually, at the end of Bruce's journey across the world, the two would meet to which Bruce would make a deal with the Ghostmaker to never enter Gotham nor Bruce ever fight crime where the Ghostmaker is set up. With that, the two would part ways and keep each end of the bargain for many years. However, after the events of Joker War, Ghostmaker had enough of the crime in Gotham and thought to himself that he was a worthy the vigilante to watch over Gotham. Upon entering Gotham, he started killing small Joker gangs to send a message to Batman. And while hunting down one of the supposed Joker gang members, Batman would swing in to save the boy. And after saving the boy, Batman would ask about their agreement, to which Ghostmaker would challenge Batman to a fight and the winner would take Gotham. Following this, the fight would become extremely intense with the both of them knowing every fighting style known to man. On top of this, the Ghostmaker would criticize Batman's tactics in Gotham, explaining that he's taken down several criminal organizations before he even left the plane of Gotham, and that Batman's been too busy working with criminals rather than cutting out the root of the problem, believing himself to be the better crime fighter. This leads the fight to escalate, leading Batman to become heavily injured, crashing into Harley Quinn's apartment, where Ghostmaker would quickly knock out the boy and Harley Quinn, and finally Batman himself, stating that he'll be taken off the playing field for a while. Later on, Batman would come to an abandoned wing of Arkham, where he would find himself held captive with others and Ghostmaker fixing him up, and at the same time, Harley and the kid, now referring to himself as the Clown Hunter wake up. But Clown Hunter then realizes he isn't tied up and sees this as a perfect opportunity to take his revenge out on Harley for playing a role in his parents' death. So looking around, he would find one of the Ghostmaker's blades and prepare to use it on Quinn. But right before he could deal the killing blow, Batman would end up breaking out of his bindings and throwing a batarang to stop Clown Hunter. Harley would then try to reason with Clown Hunter, telling him that she was a different person when his parents were killed and she's changed a lot since leaving the Joker, but that she'll still let him decide whether she lives or dies. So Clown Hunter readies himself for the killing blow and instead of killing her, he decides Mercy is the better option and leaves. After this, Batman decides to stay and challenge Ghostmaker to a sword fight, and the two would engage in combat, one slashing the other while Batman tries to explain that he could kill just like Ghostmaker, but it wouldn't make things any better. That violence doesn't always solve things, it just makes them worse, whereas compassion can go a long way. And with that, Batman throws his sword to the ground, telling Ghostmaker he doesn't want to fight anymore. Ghostmaker agrees and decides that he will leave Gotham and stick to the old arrangement, but Batman has another idea asking Ghostmaker to help him take back his city and that he needs all the help he can get. He also tells Ghostmaker that if he decides to stay that there can be no killing. Within that, Ghostmaker reluctantly decides to stay, deeming it a worthy challenge. Ending the story with the two finally working alongside one another again and running off to stop crime. Now this is pretty much everything involving the Ghostmaker character because he's still a fairly new player in the DC Universe, but he also has a story involving flaming tigers, so that's cool. He has several tools to his disposal, like his ghost net, which helps him dispose of crime, and his Ghostmaker suit, which is incredibly advanced. And he also has several skills in acrobatics, hacking, interrogation, martial arts, medical sciences, stealth swordsmanship, and he's in peak human condition, just like Batman. He's a tough cookie, and I look forward to more stories featuring Ghostmaker, because he's my new favorite character, and that's all for now. Thank you for watching.